So, what was the gas in the lighter? Let's go to ye merry internet. Oh, how did that get up there? Richard Thornley IB Chemistry, the highest rated free online resource by Reddit. Oh, embarrassing. All righty, let me just check it out. Indeed, the gas is butane. Double check. Yes, it's butane. Well, how can that be? The lighter fluid seems to be a liquid. Well, that's because they compress the butane into the lighter to make it a fluid. So my experimental value for molar mass was 55.7 grams per mole, which indeed correlates with C4H10 butane and maybe a touch of propane in it. Let me draw out butane, the fourth alkane. Okay then, let's look at my percent error. You can do this as an absolute value in IB. They're not that concerned about the sign. Let me put in my experimental and theoretical values. And that gives me a percent error of 4.1%, not too shabby, that's all right. But the value I calculated is too small. So let's see if we can work out why that might be. So big M, molar mass, is too small. Well, there's five reasons potentially right there. Maybe my mass of gas, the gas constant or the temperature was measured as too small, or maybe the pressure or volume was measured as too high. All of that would influence the molar mass, making it smaller. So let's examine mass. The mass of gas was the initial minus the final lighter mass and that's too small potentially which could mean that the final lighter mass was too big oh, and maybe it wasn't completely dry I did weigh it with about five minutes in between to make sure the weight hadn't changed but maybe there was a droplet stuck somewhere and it didn't evaporate and I couldn't shake it off maybe the lighter was still wet the gas constant well that's a constant that is what it is, not too big or too small. Temperature, so I had to think a little bit. What could account for potentially the temperature being a bit too small? All I could come up with, and I'm not convinced it's true, is that when I put the thermometer into the gas, the end of the thermometer ended up being a bit wet and maybe uh, evaporative cooling reduced the temperature how could I have avoided that? Well, I could have waited a lot longer to see if the temperature was stable. The pressure, well, I measured the pressure in Moscow using the internet instead of the pressure in my room, so maybe that could account for why the pressure was too big. Another reason the pressure could be wrong, actually could be too small, and the IB has asked about this before, is that the water level inside and outside is different. So the pressure outside and inside must be different. How could you address that to get the pressure inside and outside the same? Well, you can move the measuring cylinder in such a way that the water level inside and outside is the same then the pressure inside and outside would be the same. Now this doesn't actually help my experiment. If the pressure inside was too low, that doesn't explain why my molar mass was too low. Let's take a look at the volume. So was the volume too big? Let's just draw out the apparatus again. And I measured the volume of gas to be 75 milliliters but maybe there was only 74 milliliters of butane and other gases were present like air coming out of the water or maybe water vapor taking up space so I thought there was 75 that was too big there was only maybe 74 perhaps that could explain it as well there are two sorts of errors and improvements the IB much prefers the methodological ones 
which we'll look at in a second, to the practical or procedural ones. These ones are simple fixes, you know, clean your equipment, get a more accurate equipment, use, uh, use more experiments to get an average and remove random error. So there are four improvements there. So let's look at the methodological errors, which the IB much prefer uh, in their internal investigation. That's where the higher grades are. So quite easily missed is the fact that butane is not an ideal gas, so the ideal gas equation probably won't give a perfect answer. Uh, helium. If you did it with helium, that's a better ideal gas, so you'd probably have less of an experimental error. Some of the butane gas will dissolve in the water, but that would actually cause the value of M to be too high. So if that's the case, that can't explain your, that can't explain my error, which is where the value of M was too low. But if you use colder water, that would reduce butane gas dissolving. Gas dissolves better in hotter water than colder water. And finally, that we talked about how the air or the water vapour could have been collected as well as the butane. Well, that would decrease the value. So how could you reduce that error? Well, we use chilled water, that means less gas can escape from the water. And use water that's been boiled because then most of the air would have been removed. Boiling water removes the air. And we're done.